hey guys what's up um hope you guys are really doing well the joy of the lord is our strength and i really hope that you guys are really going on fine as, as always as i tell all those who watch no matter what you're going through no matter the storm hold on to the old rugged cross you know I was there lying down on my bed and I was saying to God, God, I don't like how I'm feeling. I don't like how I'm feeling, Lord. And I was just telling the Lord as it is. I was like, I don't like how I'm feeling. And God was whispering back to me, you know, he said, he, this guy was saying he has me in his hands. He has me in his arms. He has me. He's taking care of me. And, you know, I want to tell every one of you God, that God is taking care of you. No matter what you are facing, no matter what you're going through, God is taking care of you. You just got to trust him and you just got to believe in him. Right? So I, I, don't, I don't plan to make this video very long. I just want you to just, I, I, I just want to tell you guys that now is the time to wake up. Now is the time. Some of you may be already awoken, but now is the time to be sober. Now is the time to really be getting in the word of God like never before. Because the way, the way, the way whole things are going now. If you're not in this book saying you're going to be a lost saint, let me say that again. If you do not know what you're, what, what um, what you, if you're not in this book, if you're not reading basic instructions before leaving earth, you might, you will leave earth. <laughs> but the question is, where are you going to spend your eternal eternity? You will leave earth. You will leave earth. The question is, where are you going to spend your eternal salvation? So we are in the last days and crazy things are happening. Churches are being closed. Everything that is happening. I want you guys to really pay attention to the signs of the time. Pay attention to the signs of the time. The things that are happening now. And you may not, and, and, and this, these things are going to escalate more. They're going to grow. Yeah, but they're gonna grow and grow and grow. The word of God cannot lie. Paul encourages us in Thessalonians. I believe it is Second Thessalonians, or first. I don't remember where quietly. He said we should be sober and be ready-minded because we do not know the day of the Lord. You know, all these things that are happening. People are being closed. Churches are being closed. You cannot go to places without the vaccine. I'm not bashing anyone. If you have the vaccine, that's no problem. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there's some things that are secret agendas that are leading up to the mark, right? Whether it is a chip, whether it is a code, I don't know, but it's leading up to it. I want you guys to look at this overlay video that I'm going to show. I just want you to watch for a few. Look at it. So from the second week of September, people may not be allowed to worship in churches and mosques without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates. Similarly, people will not be allowed to event centers or parties or receptions without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates of these occasions. We have made adequate arrangements with security to prevent anybody who does not have a vaccination card from accessing any of these events. Also, you will not be allowed to access banking services in Edo State from the middle of September if you have not been vaccinated. Now tell me, now tell me, who can say that we're not living in the end of days? Who can tell that we're not living in the end of days? The things that are happening now are going to get worse. Christians are being killed in Afghanistan, in uh, North, Korea, North Korea. People cannot worship publicly in China. And, and I'm saying this to tell all my viewers here in Jamaica or Canada or America. And all those who watch from whatever country you're at. I believe say, some of the Christians in the western part of the world are too laid back. Some, I emphasize on some, some of the Christians here in the in, 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 in this Western hemisphere, some of us are too laid back because some of us think that nothing is going to happen to us, so we're going to be just fine and everything. Now is the time to get the word out. 
Now is the time to get the, the, the gospel. Oh, now is the time to, to, to tell people about Jesus Christ. Now is the time to be waking up. Now is the time to be spending time in the word for, for, for God said it um in his word that the word of God is powerful and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword. God said again in Timothy that we should that, um, that we, would have, we should study show ourselves approved unto God. We need to study the word. We need to get into prayer. We need to get into fast. We need to get into worship. Whether they want to close the church, yea or nay. The point is we have a mandate. We have a, we have a mission, and we should tell people about Christ as much as possible. Tell your co-worker. Tell an unsafe relative. Tell a friend whatever it may be and get into the word because god is speaking i don't know how many of you are really listening but god is speaking like never before in these times and i don't know how many people are very receptive to the voice of god so i'm telling you guys listen to the voice of god get into your closet and spend time with the Holy Spirit. Wake up if you wake up early. Wake up early if you have to wake up. And don't go to bed. We'll stay for an hour. Whatever you have to do. Get into the presence of God. In Jesus name. And I, I don't have much to say. So. I'm just going to leave with that guys. Until I speak whatever the Lord laid on my heart again. God bless in Jesus name.